Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel Lemon Moon Tarot. So Leo, I am here to do um, your forecast for the month of September, okay? This reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you. So just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't. And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, all of it. You guys have been absolutely, everybody's been fabulous to me. So thank you, thank you so much for all of your support. It really does mean a lot to me, to me okay? It really does. Um, and this channel is for adults only. Okay, so Leo, uh, on the bottom of the deck I've got, this could be possible fighting, but I'm getting the feeling that your person may be worried about competition or maybe you guys have gotten into some arguments in the past. Um, I haven't really pulled any any cards out yet, so let's see where we go with this. Um, you may have to be feeling like you may be feeling like you're fighting for something. What's underneath it here? The higher font. This could be inner turmoil too from your person or you needing to do the right thing. Take it how that resonates. There's some Leos that need to step up and, and some that are waiting for their people to step up. Um, I feel like you, Leo, the, I feel like this is your energy. You're leaving the scene here. You're on a spiritual path. I feel like you've got your back turned towards all of this drama, right? I feel like this is drama. Um, and you're just leaving it behind, okay? Um, up the stairs you go, leveling up, um, ascending, right? Elevating. Name car place. Um, I think as you go, honestly, I feel like this is your person's energy being triggered here. Maybe they see the same car that you drive everywhere or um, they hear your name wherever they are. Okay. I feel like someone is the divine is look, Here's the divine underneath here. The higher font is the divine. I feel like somebody's been watching you or you've been watching your person. Reverse the roles if you have to. I feel like someone's been watching you like a hawk, okay? Having something to say but holding back communication. I do see that they're getting ready to talk here. Uh, I feel like you should be like expecting some kind of communication here coming in. Um, because the higher font is really trying to push everybody to do the right thing, including your person. And I feel like they're sending your person like um, signs, okay? Like, um, like your name may trigger them or something like that. You know what I mean? I really feel like the divine is urging your person all over the place to step up their game. I feel a lot of inner conflict here coming off of your person, Leo. Future days. Okay, so a projected is uh, days, weeks, or months. That's not much of a projection. Let me just tell you this. I feel like I feel like you've done the work here on yourself, Leo, okay? And you're ready to start this new cycle. You're leveling up. You're turning your back on all of this drama, whatever, petty arguments. It could be competition. It's. I feel just like you're not getting anything out of it. So you are on a spiritual path, and you're just moving forward. You're moving on here. Um, Here's the thing, if you want a projected time of when you guys are, when your person's going to talk to you, um, there isn't one, okay? I will tell you that right now, there isn't one. It's really all an individual path, okay? Everyone is on a different path, and your person's on their timeline, okay? And the divine has got your person, so this is about divine timing. Um, I can tell you this, that you don't want this person to come towards you and, and tell they're, they're healed and they've done some work like you have. Because if they came to you now without doing any of the work or doing any of the healing, 
they wouldn't be ready for your energy. Your energy is too high vibing and too energetic, I think, for them. And you're just too focused on this spiritual path. Um, you know, I feel like your person, uh, they need to clear this negative energy off of them a little bit. Because there is a little bit of negative energy here. Um, especially with this, this Five of Wands. Yeah. I feel like it's, you know, it could be days, weeks, or months. Yep. There isn't a time projection. It's all about divine timing. I feel like your person, um, they may have inner circle blood ties. They're, they may be um, in a family unit or protecting the children somehow. You're just walking away from all of this. You, you both could have ties to these children, but that doesn't mean that you can't still have your ascension. You know what I mean? I feel like um, your person could be avoiding you, but they're being triggered here by the mention of your name, seeing your car, uh, maybe a particular place that you guys used to have dinner or something. You know, you may see this person driving past your house even because they are watching you. This person's watching you. You've got your back turned. You're focused on your spirituality right now, your path. But your person is ready to explode. It says rage here, um, but I, I feel more like they're just ready to pop. They're under a lot of pressure here to get moving, but they keep avoiding the situation. And um, it's not good energy. Uh, the more they, the more they try to avoid this and run from the issue, the more they're they're ready to explode. The more pressure they feel. You know what I'm saying? And you're just done. Completion of the cycle. Lesson learned. Yeah, you've got your back turned. I'm telling you, you've got your back turned towards this. And I feel like you're just ready to move forward, you know. You're not covering yourself up anymore. You're you're just showing yourself here to the world. You're just done. You're you, yeah. You're moving forward. You're ascending. And this person's kind of freaking out a little bit. They may want to pop out at you here, um, take a risk. They may want to take a risk and spontaneously like come unexpected, just a pop-up visit. Because this person really doesn't have a plan, but they are ready to explode here. Yeah, this person wants to meet up with you, have a discussion. They've been watching you. They look, they're fascinated. They're fascinated by your strength, your energy, the fact that you can move forward by yourself on your own and be happy. And whatever it is that you're working on, that you're building, they're watching that too. They've watched your healing because they know where it is that they left you, but you're nowhere near where they left you, okay? You're, you're all healed and ready to move forward. Yeah, they're they're frantically watching you, feeling like a like they're in a pressure cooker. Okay? As they try to avoid the situation, they can't anymore. It's getting ridiculously um impossible for them <laughs> for them to ignore the situation. They they keep watching you. They're they're really not ignoring it. They're just Yeah, you're insatiable. They have this unquenchable thirst for you. This person's thirsty for you, man. They can't get enough. They watch you. They keep wanting more. It's insatiable. It's like a hunger, a thirst. Yeah, this person's coming in here. They're going to take a risk and just show up. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're just there. Yeah, they adore you. They admire you. They're enchanted by you. 
there's something about your energy that just is driving this person wild. All right. What else can you show me here for Leo? Geez, Leo, what'd you do? <laughs> All right. What else can you show me for Leo? Oh. There could be children involved. You could have children together with this person. Uh, if you have children together with this person, you know, um, they're, you know, they're watching you when you're not around. I, I feel like you will maybe be able to work together for the children because you both want to give these kids the best childhood that they can have, okay? With all of the colored um, chalk or whatever it is here, you want to give them the best life that you can. Both of you do. You know, honestly, there may be a child for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you. There may be a child that isn't your person's child and they're asking for proof. Show me the proof or this could be them in their situation. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, so they may want proof of that this baby is theirs. Yeah, because of some kind of lustful evening or something. What else can you show me here for Leo? Leo, this is, I mean, it's pretty mild, I have to say. Your person has a lot of work to do, though, on themselves, Leo. They've got a lot of healing to do. You know, they may need to figure out a child, um paternity test kind of dealio because this person does want tr want proof show me the proof that this young child playing here is mine okay so somebody's masculine is going through that but um they're focused on you they want to have a meeting with you even though it's so contradictory guys because on one hand they're avoiding this because I think they're just uncomfortable with confrontation because they really do um, they're very focused on you they're watching you like a hawk and they really do want to meet up with you and talk and it, it, at the same time though they may there's someone out there who may be having an issue with um, a baby possibly not being theirs they could be writing you some messages and then erasing them this, if they're a songwriter, they could be working on a song for you. They could be writing you a letter. Um, basically a creative way as an outlet to get out. Yes, thank you. They're doing something creatively as an outlet to get out the information because otherwise they're feeling all of this love for you and they're, they're holding it inside. And it's becoming just like they're... There's a pressure cooker. I'm telling you, it feels like a pressure cooker ready to explode. All right, what else can you show me for this person, for Leo's person in August? Yeah, I feel like in August, this person's just going to be watching you like a hawk and dealing so for some of you. For some of your, your masculines, they are dealing with some kind of paternity test. And sometime in August, I feel like this person is going to take a risk and pop up spontaneously on you. Unexpectedly, a surprise visit. So be ready, Leo. Clarify pop up and nightlife. This could be at night. Hold on. Yeah, your person's, they're in a lot of anxiety. They're scared. They're scared about approaching you here. It's almost like a panic state. They know they've got to come forward. It's, it's, uh, they're, they've trying to be, they've been trying to be in denial. Like I said, um, they've been, um, 
avoiding this, okay? Not facing the truth. They're having a lot of anxiety about communicating with you. Like, they're completely trapped in their mind about this. Panic, scared. What else can you show me for Leo's person or Leo, this connection in August? I mean, September. September. <laughs> Sorry. We are on September. Uh, there's going to be an offer on the table in September. Possible even, someone could even get a proposal, um, a possible long-term commitment here. Access granted. That's what I'm sure, that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like someone may even accept this offer. Someone may even be um, watching you under a fake profile. I feel like that may be this masculine. But they will get access granted to discuss things with you, I feel. Talk to you. Maybe you may even go out on a date together in September. I think access will be granted. You will say yes to this so that you guys can talk about stuff. Yeah, so this, this communication isn't hidden anymore. You may even set this up over social media text message, Facebook, Messenger, something like that. I feel like um, you're going to grant this person access and discuss this, maybe even over some margaritas here. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, there's a timing factor here. Your person, I really feel like they're having a huge adrenaline rush. This is them being scared, being panicked. This situation has gone through its ups and downs and up. It's been a roller coaster for your person. Um, they're taking a pause here, a little break. This is like counting to three, taking a deep breath and coming forward here unexpectedly. They're scared. They're scared. They know they don't have any time left, but this is like an interlude. This is for them to just take a pause for a minute before they come in. Okay? That's really what I'm feeling like. Look at this. Mental prison. This is how your person feels. Like panic, stressed out, scared, anxiety over having to speak with you and a possible baby that isn't theirs for some of you. What else can you show me here for Leo? The Leo connection. Lost, yeah. I feel like this person could have ghosted you, but I feel like you may have this person blocked, Leo. Um, cut off of you completely. I, I think you have for a while and now it's just to the point where you know they haven't they haven't stood up and made any effort and you're just leaving the building right this is Leo leaving the building moving on you're literally moving on here you're like I'm just kinda done your person feels like they're blocked or cut off and they literally feel lost here. They don't know how to communicate with you. They don't know what they're going to say or how to approach you so that you'll actually um, grant them access. Okay? And allow them to speak to you. They don't know if you'll even allow them to speak to you. All right. What else can you show me here for Leo's person? Just a couple more, Leo. What else can you, what messages do you have for Leo in September? Said it right that time, September. What messages do you have for Leo in September? You could even be t um, planning a vacation here soon, 
Leo, I feel like this is your energy. Absolutely beautiful, exquisite. Okay? Um, yeah, you could very well be taking a vacation or planning a vacation in September. Good job. All right, one more. Thank you. Yeah, this person, they know that this is real love with you, Leo. They just know it. They know this is unconditional. Like, they're going to feel this connection for their whole life. They know this is certain love here. They're having a lot of anxiety. They're scared. They're panicky. But I really do feel like sometime in September or maybe even early October, this person could very well just show up at your door, take a big risk, and show up and just say, let's talk. Let's talk. Can we talk? Can we talk? You know, will you will you grant them access to talk to you? Um, because they have been avoiding you for far too long. And now they're panicked and scared about that because they know it's time to approach. They're lost. You know? And you're leaving. You're leaving the scene. You're on a spiritual path. You're being called to keep moving forward, I feel. And your, your person, you know, in all of this, they just remember that love of yours. Yeah. All right. What does this person want to say to our Leos in September? What does this person want to say to Leo in September? What does this person want to say to Leo in September? What does this person want to say to Leo in September? I'm reminded of you every time I walk in this building. You guys could like, they could be living in an old apartment building of yours or like an old house or um, it could be a workplace. It could, it could be anywhere, all right? But they're reminded of you every single time. I feel like this person's reminded of you everywhere, okay? Because they are getting triggering names, cars, places. Like I said, it's right here. That's that trigger. They're reminded of you whenever they visit something or see something or hear something. You know, it reminds them of you. I'm broken inside. This is what your person is feeling. I'm broken inside. Okay, what else does this person want to say to Leo in September? Yeah, they keep getting these triggers where they're seeing your like the same car as yours or they're hearing, they'll pass people on the street and they'll be having a conversation and they'll just pick up on a few words and in, in one, of the, one of those words is your name. Or they'll hear it on the radio, your name. Or they'll hear it in a song, or there will be a song that plays that makes it. It's nonstop trigger moments all through the day. Because the divine is trying to show your person something. You know, they're trying to make your person think of you nonstop. It's driving this person nutty. They're going to pop, I'm telling you. I'm ready to be in a serious, committed relationship with you. Yeah. They can't stop thinking about you. And they know that this is genuine, certain love. Yeah, they just need to maybe try to calm their anxiety down um, and do some healing first. I really feel like this person just needs to heal a little bit before they come forward, okay? They probably need to heal a lot. That's saying it really lightly. All right, what else can you show me for Leo? What does this person want to say to Leo in September? What does this person want to say to Leo in September? They're broken inside, lost. 
lost and broken. What can you show me for Leo in September? That one wanted to fall. You're the only person I've ever felt comfortable enough to just be myself. You know, maybe you guys have just been through a lot together. Maybe they've known you for years and years and years. Maybe you do have children together, you know? This person, you just, yeah, they're comfortable with you just being them. Um, and that is something that's very hard to find in this world. You know, someone who you're actually very just comfortable with showing yourself. And this is how you make this person feel. They're the only person I've ever felt comfortable enough to just be myself. Yeah, so anyway, Leo, that's what I've got for you for just um, a peek into your September, right? Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. And if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. And until next time, take care of you and peace out.